All right, YouTube. Uh, just a quick one, I've been testing this siphon. I've made a few modifications to the lengths of the uh, tubes. Now made the short, one slightly shorter than the other. So one's 18 centimeters, the other one's 19 centimeters. And the reason why is because the water level came up way too high. To the point where it would have been above my grow media. So I um, shortened it off a little bit at a time until I got it, the height right. And there it is. I've also made up a guard out of a uh, hundred millimeter heavy duty electrical conduit. This stuff's designed to be buried underground, which is why it's so thick. Um, and then I've just run my cutting disc along with the angle grinder on three different sides, even though it's a circle. And that fits quite nicely over the siphon and if I need to later on if it's if I want to try out a bell siphon or something else there's enough room in this to, to fit a bell siphon um, I am going to change the bottom of the tube as well I, I've also lifted the bath up 10 centimeters because of the uh, the siphon having a lot of trouble getting started so I've made up a small tube which I've just dropped into the fish tank hang on a second okay so I've made up a small tube which is pretty sure adds 130 millimeters yeah it's, so it's it might be 14 centimeters long but because of the Coupling coming out of the bottom of the bath, there's about a 10 centimetre difference, uh, sorry, one centimetre difference, so basically it ends up giving me another 13 centimetres of length. And that has helped get the siphon started and maintain it, but I have found that sometimes there's this ring of air that is in this tube. So I've put that down to the fact that the coupling I've got in the bath to make up that union down there, because this slips on the outside of it, and it's the same size as that, the inner diameter of that coupling is significantly smaller, and I think that's what's causing me problems. If that restriction was up higher from what I've uh, seen on YouTube and, and Google and stuff. Um, if the restriction's up higher it helps you start your siphon but if it's down lower it can actually restrict the siphon. So on the weekend I'm going to get some different fittings and give that a bash with a, a so basically the bore size will be the same size as the um, 20 millimeter conduit that I'm using. Aside from that, it seems to work fine. And it's very hit and miss. I mean, like, uh, you'll get it one time where it'll be working three or four times in a row, maybe, and then once it won't. And it means the difference between not being able to empty out but it just basically gets to a point of equilibrium inside the tank, inside the grow bed here, and it fills up at the same speed that it's draining, which is probably not a good thing because then it never actually fills up at all then. So I'm gonna try that and see how we go. <coughs> One thing I have done too is it takes about eight and a half to nine minutes to fill up. 
keeping in mind there's no media in there and once there's media in there it will don't you know there's obviously going to be less water volume so it will take a lot it'd be a lot faster to fill it up once the media's in there but just for the moment i'm just trying to see what sort of ratios there are between fill time and drain time um, so like i said it takes about eight eight and a half minutes to fill up and about 25 minutes or so to drain in some in some instances the fastest i've seen it is 18 minutes so i'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing i don't know i'll have to do a bit of reading tonight anyway just thought i'd give you a bit of an update things are progressing slowly like i said i'll do another video on the weekend when i get those extra fittings and change the bottom of the siphon you probably won't get to see it through the water but it's the fitting down the bottom there <coughs> i'll just pull that out so you can see it I'll just let this drain and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so the bus drained out. You can see that that um, bottom coupling that screws up into the top one, this is the top one here, and that this is a female coupling, the one that screws up into it's the male, and the because of the way it is, that inner threaded part is almost big enough, <coughs> or small enough I should say, to fit up the inside of one of these. So it's a significant restriction <clears throat> and even when I was draining the water out of this just before there was a lot of air getting trapped in this part and I had to put my finger over it and then restart the siphon effect before it would get rid of that air and then it ran a lot faster. So <clears throat> if this is 20mm uh, couplings I'm going to try 25mm couplings uh, and see if that makes a difference and with adapters and stuff, so it'll still be 20 mil conduit for the siphon and the drain tube, but it'll be 25 mil coupling so that the inner um, diameter of the hole is larger, so it's not a restriction. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I had to raise up the bath, so I just made some adapters off an old trampoline, slide up inside my legs, and the pumpkin growing away. Um, and there's the tube there. That's about it. Alright YouTube, I'll go and uh, upload this and I'll give you an update over the weekend once I've got the extra bits and pieces and made the changes. I'll uh, put the measurements up that I've changed as well for these uh, for that siphon tube just so you give you an idea. Um, also, you can see that the level of this is pretty much the level of the bar, and that's 430 millimeters long. So it'll give you an idea of the measurements I'm playing with. Uh, once the grow media is in here, I'm hoping it'll basically sit about 50 millimeters below the edge of the bar. The watering tube will be sitting on top of the grow media, so I'll have to adjust that when it's good and ready. Which means the media will be sitting up about that height. And with the tube now, the water height gets to there, so it'll give me about 50 millimeters of um, dry media to the full water level, so I don't overfill it. That's why I've made that adjustments to the lengths of the siphon tubes. All right, YouTube, thanks for watching. If you've got any ideas or something I should be doing better or if I'm doing something wrong, just leave a comment. Um, suggestions are good. Like I said, I'm not an expert. This is my first time doing this. Righto, thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.